Hi YouTube viewers, welcome to Code Master Lab. In this video, we are going to see template installation in views and how to view them using controller. Basically, we have till now covered few parts of routing in config files, auto load feature about controllers, database migration and seats. We also checked helper function how to create that and all and also we have seen how to install a library and call that library using helpers we'll check in next videos models third party any so libraries we are using then also we can we will discuss in this complete series of videos if you have not subscribed my channel of or you have not check my previous videos i request you to check all my previous videos which will help you to understand code igniter 4 completely in this series of videos so without wasting time let's get started i found this beautiful template it's a small size template it is given by team wagon which has a home page feature it's a single page website details pricing drop down it has articles if you are writing a blog and all so we will see terms and conditions and privacy policy and there is a beautiful login page sign up page privacy policy if we click it is taking us to other page so this template i have already downloaded here it's 3 mb you can download link is provided in the description we need to any template whichever you download just extract them once it get extracted in this we are mainly focused on public so till now we have removed the public from the url now we will use this public folder to keep our as let's see here you have ionic you have css a separate file bootstrap images a separate file your javascript your web fonts so fonts if you are using so we have in your template then they have these are the things we will cut them everything since we have played in assets we will paste it over here okay so all the files has been pasted over here that's all in public now if you refresh it this is gone just copied i think just copied it out no problem now you have these all pages i'll just cut it out from here then go to your app views you have welcome till now we, i was showing only welcome message now we'll create one folder we'll name the folder as template inside it we will paste all the files see here more refresh it's still there i don't know why but i have cut that upload this you will find the same website same template will not work over here it's a just template now we will work inside this template this is our template we have pasted just we have pasted all the files in assets of public folder and views we have created a template and there we have pasted all the html files now we come down to our controller we will select any of the controller basically i'll go to config i'll check for the routes and routing here i'll see what is the default controller it's home default controller so i'll use the default controller home so this is what the controller is here it's returning view welcome message in this we'll change it out i'll show you just i'll on the xam perfect i'll go to our folder yeah it's showing now since it was home and about page you have about page so this controller is working perfect now we'll change this how to change that first we'll go to our index page 
and we'll rename this to any name you can give i'm giving it as a main.php and also in this template i will create one more folder called include and there i will create two files which is header.php and one more will be of footer.php let's see if we have configured our app url perfectly or not to check that here you have your app url in environment.env file perfect once it is done go to your main we'll check what are the things are co things common in all the pages this is your footer so i can copy the footer from here to here why because if we directly load the page it will not be helpful i'll show you let's come to footer about links and these things will be your footer about links and other things are your footer so what we will do we will just cut that from the main file and we will paste it in the separate file which we have created similarly if you see your this home page features page pricing pricing detail article details now this part is being constant and from here everything get it changed and this is also a constant so this will be your our header so we'll go to main file the navigation bar will be constant and other pages will be different so here is. similarly if you want to change everything you can rename them to php and you can delete this till navigation header is also present in some pages so if you want to create one more like what we call hero hero page or hero bar you can create that and you can just paste this one so we'll check articles here is an article and you have text here and there is an image here so this is the image and here is a hero bar so what we'll do we'll just take out this hero bar it's up to you whatever names you want to give so i have just added hero bar itself add okay rest all fine i'll just go to close i'll close this as well footer i'll delete everything let me do it for all the pages and let me come to come back to you i'll just for uh, what we we'll do i'll just fast forward this part you can see what how i am doing that's it it's all pages have been updated now we need to work on two things first is your header and second will be your footer let me close all the pages and let's work on header for here you need to add your base url to work inside your base url you have public asset there you go copy this and paste it in all your css wherever you find images please add them as well soon we'll create a login function inside your home controller so i have added this here itself now to test whether header is working fine we'll go to our home page and we'll just view our header to view that you need to navigate to your template then you need to go inside include inside that you have a file header that's it let's now view our page here you come everything is working fine with the icon with login perfect now let's copy the same thing in your footer as now to load your footer go to your home just copy this and put a dot concatenate it with footer if you reload it you got your footer as well here let me make it down it's not looking good similar to this home page let's now work on main.ph in this you have a header with an image copy the link of base url the path towards your asset wherever you have you have sign up then click on write home fine up that header part is complete let's go to features i think let's go to details here is an image you can add that line where you have images please add your base url 
so that the path is absolutely defined now once you complete your part adding your path towards the images now you need to go to your home then copy this line you need to now navigate to template main you just add this line as well refresh it you got your home page work it looks very similar to the template page now let's click on feature you got your feature details you got your details pricing you got your price please understand when you're at home and then you're clicking then it goes perfectly now we need to create this drop down links as well let's go to your header write this link create the links we just write define the function name. once you reload it now your links gets changed we need to create these methods to create these methods we'll go to our home we we'll do the same thing we'll copy this paste it out over here and here we will add our hero page as well so for that go for include hero but then it's about page we'll write it as about there is no about section sorry we have article let's rename it to article page name also to article here you go with your article page we can't able to view this image because we have not worked on hero bar sorry you have not worked on article page here you have an image so further we will just copy the assets link from here and similarly if you go to login you check if you have any images here next will be our login i am writing in camel case first letter is small i is capital now let's see how does it work for login okay not required why because we have just add add added as login oops there is an error we need to see what the error is to find the error basically you need to check first in which environment you are working you are working in production environment so go to your app click on config here you find boots now go to your production make the display errors to one then you can able to view what kind of error is it is invalid file template login.php there is a view exp exception let's see why we can't able to access login in is this file name is present in our view folder or not inside our templates i can see log in there is not there is the it's a name error so just we need to reload it here you similarly we will create some other functions as well we have completed main login article we will go for privacy doesn't require id just written privacy page similarly we will create a sign up as well let's see how this url is added so in login we have not worked on sign up it's showing dot html at below we will work on login page here you go we have written sign up now how to access this you can see i have written a uppercase when i have a hyphen i'll show you a hyphen and then up you have a hyphen with up okay let me reload this now let me access to it now it says 404 error sign up we can't able to find this to make it visible go for your route routing translate url to camel case we have made it true just make it false and check if it is not working then see for translate uri dashes make it true reload it go for format not format feature we can't able to access sign hyphen up for this we just write this sign up and then you see you got your sign up it should be represented as underscore here and hyphen here that should be fine everything will be worked we got our sign up page login in sign up page we have not worked work on sign up as well it will be log in now if you see here login is working fine sign up is also working fine now let's see terms page which is not i have not defined yet let's define terms page as well 
privacy policy next will be your term here you have terms now you got your terms page as well working privacy policy is also working article is also working login sign up this is how you can able to install your templates in your coding night of 4 that's all for this video in our next video we will make these forms to be active so how sign up works and how we can able to do login as well we'll learn sessions inserting a data retrieving the data everything in our next video thank you for watching this video if you found this video helpful please hit that like share with your friends and subscribe to my channel let's see in next video